while we're uh, here in this part of the forest, we're going to revisit the Giddens Homestead Cemetery. An obscure forest cemetery. Many people confuse it with calling it the Oriole Cemetery. It's not. The Oriole the town of Oriole is quite a ways the other way. Behind us west. And Giddens had a homestead very close to here. After you, ma'am. We were last here last year, and it was cleaned up compared to the previous two years before we first discovered it. And this path was here. This path was not here when we originally discovered this site. This There was no path. You just came through that gate and wound your way through the... Ah, it definitely needs cleaning up again, doesn't it? I like seeing it like this because it's more real. Keeping it real, as it were. Wow, yeah. Where we're going for sure. Watch your feet. Here we have the marker of Elizabeth Giddens. Interred here in this ground in 1876, born in 1849. Skeeters are thick too. Yeah, last time it looked so good. Yeah, yeah, but the time before that, this is what it looked like when we first found it. This is essentially what it looked like. Watch your feet. It's a woodman grave. Wooden stone, rather. And the skiers are thick, man. Keep out of here. Frank M. Neisler. Past 1917, buried here. So that gives you a scope of a range of dates of when they were burying people here. Can't read that name. Tally. That name was Tally. These are both tallies. 1905. These were children. This was a child as well. Let me give you an idea of just how small this is. This is it's marked off by these poles, markers of some kind. There and there, and they're probably 70 feet apart maybe. I wouldn't think too much more than that. Rough estimate. Keeping in mind I'm neither a surveyor nor a carpenter, but I can throw a football. Another marker. Can't really read it, but 
M O R L E M O R maybe. There's the age something. I can't even read this. Died 18. I think that wants to be 1868. To me. I don't think I'm going to do a photo album on this. The mosquitoes are just too thick. I don't feel like wading through them anymore. Get back out of here. And these are the ones that we've discovered that we see, that are here, that we know of. These are obviously not where the bodies are interred. looks like to me and this is probably a child yeah two years old 1888 born 1886 Imagine being down here in this in 1886. What this must have been like. Good and bad. There would have still been bears roaming this area. There would have been pumas, wildcats, deer abundant. All sorts of joys and danger. The river's right around the corner here. The river, of course, at that time would have been much purer. I mean, it wouldn't have been filthy polluted like it is now. Small plot of land to have your remains be forever interred. We're getting out of here, baby. It's, I know, it's, they're getting crazy. I'm, I'm getting murdered here. I've given a pint of blood since I've been in here. We're heading out now. I'm not going to do an album. And I'm sure there's more in this immediate vicinity, but those are the ones that we know of and we can see them that are marked. Probably 15 in all, maybe. In any event, we are for now out.